Hey guys, welcome to another video of my Giddy series. In this video we are going to talk about dressing yourself up, combining all the gear, how to, and also we are going to talk about how to implement natural vegetation and uh, making the picture complete. So bear with me. First of all, I will show you my gear, the gear I use. And if you saw my other videos, you should be familiar with most of the things, except for uh, the actual shirt and trousers. So we're going to talk about the shirt and... Um, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to uh, create the shirt, because it's, it's the same technique as for the cover, the hat and everything else. And you just check my other videos for it and you will um, understand how you should do this. The only thing I'm going to say is a couple of things that you should um, be aware of is when you create this you have to be aware of the rest of your gear like if you dress up the shoulders make sure you don't you don't overdo it because if you're carrying, going to carry a pack like me yeah so don't do that um, the other thing tip that I want to give you is make your shoulders uneven because this is very recognizable and if you um, make one shoulder bigger than the other it's going to help what i want to say about the trousers is i didn't do anything to them they are just plain plain as i bought them and the reason for that is because um, if you're laying down most of the time you're facing a direction and your legs are behind you anyway and the other thing I like to do with my legs is I like to cover them by wrapping them around trees and things like that. I just want to get rid of my legs basically. And I do other things with my legs to camouflage them than actually to dress them up. Because the more things you hang on your trousers, on, on, your, on these things, is the more you will snag in the woods. And you can actually stop wearing these and uh, wear regular trousers. But then you owe it to yourself and to your suit to uh, buy camouflage trousers and that is something I choose not to do camel bag the only thing I want to say about the camel bag is it is very nice to sip on the go and the only thing you actually have to do to modify your camel bag is, is the tube and um, what I did is I, I basically wrapped uh, the hunter's cloth around it and um, just some leaves and Rafia, just the way I, I uh, implemented to my hat, this gives the illusion of a brand of a branch. If you carry it like this is on your back, this comes over your shoulder like this, and this distorts your profile even better. So that is why I carry a camel bag like this for camouflage as well. Before I carry anything, I will uh, start with the pack, and I will just attach this, and I will get to you when I'm done. Okay, so. I put the cover around my pack, just the way I did it in, in the other video, and I've inserted the um, cam uh, the camel bag. Why I uh, love this cover is because you can actually stuff st stuff stuff between um, the cover and the pack itself. Like you can do leaves. This actually will give it a little bit more depth and uh, pine needles, some twigs and this will actually change the color a bit as well. It will be very subtle but now your pack will look much more like the surrounding forest. thing about the pack is the same thing as, a, as the mask. You can point things in a certain direction and they won't poke you back. Like this is the part, this is the stuff that you use to attach st sticks and twigs to, to oh, and I already took one. This is something you can attach this to your arm but it won't be very comfortable. So a pack 
is the perfect place for this to put it and if you apply some webbing you can easily weave things like this through there you go you can even use the clips of your pack to keep it in place as you can see it turns into the forest very easily and very quickly already you don't want to carry too much forest with you all, all the time but you can use bark you can use sticks and let me show you something dead wood if it isn't uh, if it isn't rain on the whole time it's actually very light so you can actually imply this as well and this is basically a demo that I'm giving you guys I'm showing how you can how you can do things so you don't have to do this all the time of course and you don't have to do all apply all these techniques at once but it's something that you can do so this pack is done now we are going to cover ourselves and as you can see I'm not wearing anything fancy or camouflaged and you shouldn't you only should if you don't wear the trousers like I said thing you have to do is don't wear anything red or brightly colored yellow stuff like that don't wear white as well black gray green brown anything earthen really black as well I made a mistake won't be a very big one because I will tuck my legs in and do things anyway so as you can see you don't notice much of what you're wearing underneath the only mistake I made is, is, is this because this will be, will be in the way Implementing natural vegetation to this is with the aid of rubber bands. I will come a bit closer, but as you can see, I got these rubber bands around my arms. And apparently it's two on this side and I think it's three on this side. No, it's two as well. But that will do. You can al always carry spare ones because they don't weigh anything and they're very useful and you just apply the same techniques you for this you can um, use smaller twigs in this part of the wood I will have to do it with stuff like this break them up a little bit, make it a bit smaller because the only thing green and leafy around here and the things I'm looking for is green and leafy of course uh, are thorns so that's not very nice and the key with this is also not to overdo it and to 
try and work a little bit uneven. So as you can see, I am dressing this arm up. A lot more than I am doing it to the other one. Because you want it to you want to be as uneven as possible. You don't want to make yourself too heavy as well. And the back of your hand is also a place that you can dress up pretty nicely. Because you're not going to use the back of your hand so often. So, and if you are wearing relatively new gloves, as I am, you can solve the problem of this blackness just by rubbing in, by rub rubbing them in the dirt. Five meters here runs a trail, and just and just two people with a dog passed me. I sat very still, obviously, but I put on my cap, lay down because I I had the advantage to avoid a very uh, strange situation. Let's continue the video. Balaklava. You saw this in my other video about dressing your head up. And the only thing left for me to do now is to show you how this suit works. And you had a really nice demo already, but now I will show you how, how to really blend them. Okay, so there are still people around. The only thing that I didn't camouflage is the tripod. So that is going to be very annoying if I want to avoid a strange situation.
okay guys i wanted to end this video with uh, by saying thank you for watching sticking with me till the end and if you like this video for uh, stealth camping reasons there is going to be a video showing me how to gilify the whole camp just the way as i'm hidden right now subscribe like the video share thanks for watching bye bye